Our planet looks pretty simple from up here, but come a little closer and things get complex. The Earth is a web of relationships, adaptations and invisible forces. Put simply, it's alive. For a long time, science saw the world much like a machine. It could be taken apart and tinkered with like an engine or a clock. This reductionist approach helped solve some of the big puzzles, but left other things unexplained. How do schools of fish work? Why do populations of some native species increase with land clearance? Why do crowds of people behave unpredictably? For the last few decades, thinkers from many disciplines have been developing a new scientific philosophy, better suited to our complex world. It's called complexity science. Now, experts and governments everywhere are looking to complexity science for help with wicked problems, ones that are difficult, if not impossible, to solve. Issues like homelessness, cancer and climate change are just a few. So what is complexity science exactly? It's tricky to define, but that's precisely what makes it so valuable. Like the natural world, complexity science is about relationships and systems. It sees vast webs of life, constantly interacting and changing, often in ways we can't understand. It recognises that local places are unique and don't fit neatly into templates. It helps us avoid black and white thinking and get comfortable with uncertainty, letting go of the need to control, predict and fix a problem. Instead, it's about nudging the system in a better direction. Complexity science expects surprises, sees innovations everywhere and treats the whole as more than a sum of its parts. And importantly, it gives us options. Through a complexity science lens, we can address persistent problems creatively from many different angles and with confidence that even the smallest actions will strengthen the whole. That's why we're excited to see how complexity science can help make our suburbs cooler, greener and healthier. Places we can live in harmony with nature. This process is called urban greening and involves everything from verges and community gardens to parks, backyards and beyond. In the face of a changing climate and biodiversity loss, greener suburbs are more important than ever. The most obvious solution might be to just plant more trees. But this simplistic approach often ignores complex drivers like community attitudes and urban development and rarely addresses the bigger picture. So, what do we do? We adopt a complexity science mindset, taking small, mighty, creative and collaborative steps to steer our suburbs in a greener direction. These steps can be as simple as observing the natural environment or connecting like-minded people and projects, sparking conversations between communities and government, or getting school kids excited to garden, helping locals share knowledge and skills, cultivating a spirit of care and custodianship, building a web of relationships that becomes stronger, more efficient and increasingly innovative over time. By giving up the need to fix, we allow the system itself to flourish. This is complexity science in action. It asks a lot of questions and helps us dig far deeper into a problem. It aims to unearth tailored solutions that are as adaptable as they are enduring. You can see complexity science at work in projects like Greening Marion, an urban greening initiative within the suburbs of Marion Park Home and Oaklands Park. Other complexity projects are emerging and there's many more to come. We're excited to continue experimenting with this new approach. One that's complex, yes, but true to the natural world and brimming with opportunities. Whether it's registering your interest, expressing your feedback or sharing a great idea, be sure to get in touch. Together, we're more than the sum of our parts.